Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another episode of the Splatoon Competitive Guide. Today we are going to be going through the Mahi Mahi Resort callouts. Hope you guys enjoyed and let's get started. So here we are in Mahi Mahi Resort and we are coming up to the first area. This area is known as your street or just street to be exact. Usually would call out if someone's on your street on, or on their street, of course, because of there's one on each side. Uh, weapons that succeed here usually are the longer range weapons. Tenatex and 52 gals tend to have a hard time uh, trying to push through this area. Um, I'm standing on another area right there, but I'm going to come back to that. But right here is your street. You can be more specific with it if you want. Uh, you can say to somebody on your back street or your front street and whichever or your mid street which however you want to like describe where specifically they are on your street you know you just you know you gotta work that out with your team so here's the next area and this one is called high street it's basically the exact same area as street uh, in rainmaker it's a lot more accessible to actually get up to this part but uh usually people who go up here are on the opposing team side uh, you wouldn't really call out if somebody's on your high street because it just doesn't happen. And of course, you can also be specific with where somebody is standing on your high street. If you can say they're on your front high street, your back high street, or whichever. Now, this is another area, and it is known as Snipe, and it's probably one of the most called out areas in this uh, particular map. Uh, of course, Sniper, you would expect an Elite 3K scope to be perched up around here or anywhere on the Snipe area as well. In Mahi Mahi, it's really, really important to actually control this particular area because once your Elite is down and they start rushing into your Snipe, a lot of the map control does get taken away. So usually in Mahi Mahi, even in Splat Zones, Rainmaker or Tower Control, you want to take control of their snipe to actually proceed the objective. Unless in Rainmaker where you go on to the right side. Now this area is known as Pillar. And this is actually another sniping spot. Especially in Splat Zones. Because in Splat Zones it actually has a little uh, fence or wall just in like, front of the pillar. And uh, it's actually great for peeking. Or if your sniper wants to get a little bit more aggressive and such like that. The pillar right next to it is known as chair, and as you can see from this, uh, like, this block right here, it kind of does look like a chair, and hence it's why it's called that. Uh, of course, this is just another platform that people tend to go on to. Uh, dinos, especially in splat zones, they like to stand up here and paint. They do like two or three flicks and the splat zone is painted. A dynamo on this map specifically is very, very strong. This little area right here that I'm running across is Sneaky. Uh, of course, it's called Sneaky. I mean, if somebody is on these crates, you know, call them out. They're on. They're coming through Sneaky. They come. This is where they usually come through, of course. But leading onto that, right next to Sneaky, this is known as Plat. Uh, it's usually raised a little bit higher, I believe, in Rainmaker. But um, actually, no, 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 no. That actually, it's actually at this level, I think. This is also another area that you could possibly find a sniper, not normally, but it's a spot where, you know, it could possibly happen. Now this area right here is known as Box, and this area is a great place for placing beacons. Uh, no one really suspects them if you put it at the very far corner. Uh, they're probably going to suspect them now because I'm telling you now, but this is actually a great place for placing beacons and it helps out your teammates a lot. Okay, so this time to get into a general area. So depends on what side of the map you are looking at. This area that I'm painting right here is known as court. Now it depends on, of course, which area you're looking at. There's two courts. There's right court and there's left court. The area I was just on was left court and this, of course, is right court because it's, well, how I'm facing the map. Uh, of course, you tend to find most of the action going down in the core areas uh, so basically a lot of this map is going to be saying hey there's some guy on left there's some guy on right or if you want us to be really call outy and stuff call outy is a word I just made up you can say there's somebody on left core and right core and coming up to the final call out and uh, this area well I didn't actually it was actually quite hard to find up a name with this but the quickest name I felt like is stunt uh, I named this area Stunt mainly because uh, of the, the jumps and the parkour that you have to do around here just to, you know, get the Rainmaker across. 
I, mean, uh, I thought it was just a you know decent name. But for Raymaker, you know, th you're gonna be using this call out quite a bit if you need to. You can say they're past, they're going through stunt, or you're, they're going through your left mainly because if your opponents are bringing the Raymaker to the left, then they are going to uh, the stunt area. I should that I called. I haven't given specific callouts for this particular area mainly because when somebody is going there, you're usually gonna expect somebody there or something like that, or if they're on the stunt wall. Per se, if like they've taken up the Raymaker on that wall, then uh, you know you can say that as well. They're going up the stun wall, or, or they're taking the Raymaker through stun. You should be able to see the person if you if they're at stun, so they're not they're unlikely to shark you. And yeah, that is pretty much it for all the callouts for my my resort. Uh, there's only nine callouts, so this is this map shouldn't be too hard to learn, and opposed to like maps like Flounder Heights where there's just so much stuff and so much information to take in. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you are feeling generous. And as always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude, and I shall see you guys in a future video.